we went over to Nyon, um, TUEFA headquarters for a week as part of it. But while we were out there, it was ourselves and three or four other different federations. They got um, one of the chief interviewers from Sky Sports to come. And basically, we were given pretty much a workshop on how to deal with the media. Okay. But really, how to deal with the media was we were taught how to talk for 10 minutes without Same saying anything. Um, well, that explains the last hour. <laughs> 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 and uh, we were then put in front of this guy who was, you know, the Sky Sports presenter, okay. and he tried to rack your cage with a few awkward position questions, and it was, you know, could you kind of wrangle your way around? That's depressing, isn't it? I find I find <laughs> that quite uh, fun though, as well. Like, you know, it must be must be a bit of crack, you know, um, just to kind of the long pauses and like, you know, basically repeating yourself and stuff like that. I got to give you some credit for your Seamus Coleman interview as well. You know, a lot of ninety nine point nine percent of times these interviews are very boring, but uh, mm. all of a sudden you actually, and it must be almost like, wow, this is. Well, uh, and it's funny when you're doing an interview and you're like, this is actually, you know, there's something <laughs> yeah, happening here. Like, yeah. Usually it's like, uh, yeah, whatever, he goes through the motions and then it's like he's having a pop with Keith Andrews. Well, as, as much as I would like to take full credit, I think Seamus Coleman had something he wanted to get off his chest and he did. was uh, going to get it out there. They, actually, Dan McDonald was making that point uh, as well during the week about Stephen Kenny that Kenny'd be in a press conference and like there'd be some banal question asked about like who's available for the next game or something. So, but Kenny will go in there intent on um, making reference to some particular player that he thought needed like some sort of a G up in public. And um, he, in a very, it might be a bit of a kind of a cumbersome way, it might be a roundabout way, but he would make his point possibly in relation to a question that had nothing whatsoever mm -hmm. to do with the player. Mm -hmm. But he uses the press conference for that particular reason. It's, it's, very, it's very, very similar to, to interviewing a politician. Like effectively, we're taught to just ignore what the question was. Like if you walk into, walk into a press conference or walk into an interview with, as you say, three, four points you want to get across and don't really mind what question is asked, is, is actually asked, just start talking about the three, four but things. But did they flip it at any stage to what Johnny's talking about and actually going in and taking control of a press conference and g deciding what the message you want is? So even in the last couple of weeks, Mourinho has been asked about this and who is he talking to during these press conferences? And he said, number one, my players, number two, my players, number three, my players. Mm, yeah. That's everything he says is aimed at getting a reaction inside the dressing room. Now, even that statement, maybe oh, well, well, there may be a deeper meaning to it, but not. did they not teach you, well, actually, if you're looking to get a point out there, that this is how you do it? So, uh, uh, like, Mourinho's just, Mourinho's wrong there, and he knows he's wrong there when he's saying that, because it's not, it's, it's, but again, it's, it's, it's not the person, it's not the interviewer, you're, you're not talking to the interviewer, he's right, you're talking to the players, yeah, but you're not only talking to the players, you're talking to your supporters, you're conscious of what way they're going to uh, uh, take on board the information you're given. Mm. Probably most important, you're talking to your board. Right. Talking to your board. When you ask a question, and particularly Marino is so conscious of that, when you when the reporter asks the question, he's given out an answer that is an awful lot of the time aimed at those up above him. Um, you might be trying to rattle their cage, you might be trying to get them on side, but yeah, you're, you're, you're conscious that you're talking to your players, you're talking to supporters, you're talking to your boards, and you're trying to get the right balance of keeping everybody in their place.